Riken established the Center for Integrative Medical Sciences, IMS, in April 2018. Its mission is to analyze the entirety and interdependence of the genome, cells, immune system, and other biomolecules that constitute the human body, and to elucidate the mechanisms that control health and disease. え、私ども生命科学研究センターでは人の体の成り立ちや各臓器の働きについての理解を深め、それをもとに病気の診断、予防、治療、健康維持に向けた新しい科学研究を展開してまいります。特にゲノムと免疫に着目しています。病気の発
免疫という新しい切り口で全て抑えることができるんじゃないかというふうに考えております体の中で免疫システムを作ることによってそれが再発する場面あるいは他の治療法で抵抗性になってきたものあるいは他の臓器にできるような転移するようなものを抑えることができるんじゃないかと期待しているところリケナイメス carries out research that aims to understand the human immune system and develop novel treatments for immune related diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is a disease in which the immune system attacks its own cells and tissues, causing swelling and pain in the joints and finally leading to the destruction of the joints. The pathological mechanism has not been clarified. The research team addressed the challenge of this disease using genetic analysis. Using a genome wide association study, a method first developed by Riken, the team performed a comprehensive analysis of the human chromosomes 1 to 22. The team studied the differences of gene, which we call variants, between DNA from patients with rheumatoid arthritis and DNA from healthy individuals. And identified around 100 genetic risk variants associated with rheumatoid arthritis. How is rheumatoid arthritis related to these genetic risk variants? The research team is trying to elucidate the mechanism. First, using a cell sorter, the team isolated five typical types of immune cells from the blood samples of the healthy group. Then they measured and compared the gene expression levels using a next generation DNA sequence. Differentially expressed genes were combined with the genetic risk variants of rheumatoid arthritis, and the team discovered the pathogenic gene expression pathways in rheumatoid arthritis. For example, in the case of individuals who carry risk variants, when a molecule called TNF Is released by macrophages, it activates the high expression of several inflammatory genes in helper T cells and induces symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis. このような研究結果を元にすると、より効果的な新薬の開発につなげることができるというふうに考えております。免疫というのはアレルギーとかリウマチなどの自己免疫疾患、それから感染症、がん、また最近では動脈硬化とか。神経のパーキンソン病にも関係していることが分かってきましたこうした病気にも応用して、えー、免疫が関係する病気の理解を深めより良い治療に結びつけていきたいというふうに考えておりますリケン IMS has been studying the gut ecosystem which is closely related to human immunity and its relationship with diseases Typically, 40 trillion intestinal bacteria, consisting of more than 1,000 species, live in the human gut. This gut ecosystem, created under complex interactions of microorganisms with the host, has recently been discovered to affect not only the gut, but the whole body. The gut ecosystem is also believed to affect lifestyle related diseases, including morbid obesity and type 2 diabetes, as well as autoimmune diseases. Neurodegenerative diseases and cancers. Understanding the gut ecosystem has become a pressing issue. The research teams in IMS use integrated omics analysis to clarify the complicated gut ecosystem. Metagenomics is a study of the gene sequences of the intestinal bacteria. Transcriptomics is the study of the amount of gene expression. Metabolomics is the study of the metabolites created by the intestinal bacteria. All the multi dimensional analytical information, including the results of these studies, is integrated and analyzed. The gut ecosystems of humans with diseases are recapitulated in germ free mice and notobiotic mice, which carry only specified bacteria. Integrated omics analysis is carried out by transplanting a wide range of different human intestinal bacteria. As a result of this collaborative analysis, the team identified 17 species of intestinal bacteria that suppress excessive immune reactions, including inflammation and allergies. 
The team has further discovered that these intestinal bacteria consume dietary fiber to produce butyric acid, which promotes differentiation of regulatory T cells to suppress inflammation and allergies. この統合ミックス解析によって腸エコシステムの全貌を理解することができれば腸内環境の何がどのように免疫系とかあるいは病気に影響を与えるかということが分かってきますそうすると例えば肥満とか糖尿病といったような生活習慣病を持っている人と持っていない人の腸内環境を比較解析することによって、えー、効果的な治療法あるいは予防法を生み出すことができるようになる可能性があります。In order to understand the diversity and complexity of human cells and their functions, Riken IMS has been promoting a variety of research themes. Currently, it is taking on the challenge of clarifying the state of each individual cell, including the immune cells, as part of an international project. The human body is made up of 37 trillion cells. To classify and map them all, The International Human Cell Atlas project was launched. Research institutes from 44 countries around the world are participating in this project, and RICEN is playing a central role in Asia. RICEN is bringing our technologies to profile regulatory RNAs and expertise in bioinformatics. Also, Our in-depth experience in building the atlas for human promoters and enhancers from the Fun to Fight projects will greatly accelerate this global effort. RICEN is proceeding with the analysis of the RNAs, expressing genes, found in single cells. In the body, the DNA of each cell is the same, but the RNAs are variable in location, time and expression levels according to each cell type. Riken has been leading the world in the Phantom project, which aims to discover all the genes in the human body and develop new genomic technologies. The technology has been realized to measure the diversity of RNA molecules at single cell resolution. Moreover, we are able to detect RNA molecules in tissues to identify their location and measure their abundance from 2D and 3D images. The team is developing these technologies to classify and map all the cells in the human body in detail. The completion of the Human Cell Atlas will make it possible to see the difference between disease cells and healthy cells at the molecular level. It will also help to evaluate the quality of iPS derived cells for clinical use. There is tremendous potential for medical applications. Such as diagnostic tools and drug discovery. And I believe it's perfect time to start this project in the new center. We can synergize our genomics technologies with immunologists, and it will help us to understand how blood cells communicate within our body. It is impossible to accomplish the Atlas by one lab or one country, so, global effort to tackle this challenge really makes sense. Also, to account for genetics, age, environmental variation, We need to work together to build a comprehensive database to strengthen the meaning of the human cell atlas. By conducting integrated analysis at both the molecular and metabolite levels, RICEN IMS is helping to elucidate the mechanisms of life. The innovative integration of research on the human genome, cellular diversity, And the field of immunity will greatly expand the impact of life sciences on society. RICEN IMS will continue to transform this new knowledge towards practical solutions and develop innovative medical care for the future.